In this video, we're going to focus on how you can use update or basically the chart update API. And this is not really from the tree map chart, but it's a part of chart.js that you can combine with the tree map chart and you will see something phenomenal. All right, so let's start to work on that. So we have this here, but as I said earlier in one of my other videos about the data structures, and the data structures is very, very useful. So now it's time to play around with it, but now in an interactive mode. So let's start here and create two buttons here. I'm going to create here a button, and this button has the value. And let's grab here the data structure option here, one for sales and the other one for cost. I'm going to say value equals sales, and this should be a sales here. But then I will say here on click, what I want to do is I want to trigger a new functionality, and I'll just call this update tree map. That's the functionality and the parameter or the argument will be this, meaning this specific button here. What I will do is I will copy this, make another one. And here we will not say sales, but this will be cost, and this will be cost, and this will be sales with capital S. All right, and there we have this. So if I save this now, refresh. Of course, nothing happens yet, but we have these buttons ready here. And what we want to do is we want to switch them or we'll update the tree map chart the moment we have different keys here. So we need to update the key depending on whatever we click on. Then we get one or the other. So let's start to create a function here. And this function will be called update tree map. That's what we assigned here previously in the buttons. Uh, where is it? This one here. All right. So that's what we assign here. And then here we will have the value. So this will be, let's say, the key. And the reason I use the key value here because it's very similar to this. So it's the same term. So we, it's very descriptive. So then what I will do is here. I want to update the chart with this. So what I will do here is I'll say my chart. And if you're wondering why my chart, remember, that's the starting point, my chart. And then what I want to do is I want to go to the data, from my chart to data, to the data sets, and then specifically to the key and reassign whatever the button is, update the key with that matching value. So that's what we're going to do now here. So we're going to say here this, and then we're going to say, so, so my chart dot data dot data sets and we only have one data set here so we say index zero dot key equal to the key here however this key is not yet done so maybe i should show you a console log so you know exactly what i'm talking about let's do a console log here because this key will show you the full button so if i open up the development tab press on cost you will see here we get this but we get the full button here with all the elements of course this is not what I want. I want the specific value referring to the item here. So the this value that we have here, this argument has triggered the entire button. So I want to have here only the value to extract the value only. Now if I say here, there we are. So now of course we can do here key here. Then here this can be like that. Alright. And then we say here my chart dot update and say refresh and now if I click on this there you are you can see here it changes nicely and of course the colors are still not matching we can solve that by maybe here changing this maybe divide by two instead of whatever it is oh that's too, too less I guess five would be more sufficient and here all right so let's see we have this and then there we are all right doesn't work really too much because the color and the values are maybe too intense. So I'll just put it back to 10, but that's all right for now. The most important thing here is if you click on this, you understand we get a whole change of the item. And this is absolutely phenomenal. As you can see here, it's now divided here in chart. And then here now on cost, it changes everything because of our grouping here, the groups and the, and the values itself. So that's very interesting to see as well. 